but now we take you, still in the UK, to an article um, that was talks about how Marks and Spencer, which is an upmarket grocer in, in the UK, um, they were selling cauliflower steaks that were wrapped up in plastic, but three times the cost of that of a normal cauliflower that you just got off, get off the shelf. How far have we gone in terms of, you know, presenting convenient food for the consumer? Do you think we've gone too far? Do you care? You know, I didn't even think about this as an issue until, you know, we were kind of talking about it. Had to it. talk about it, yes. yes. But I guess, you know, those few cuts of the blade and adding some plastic maybe <laughs> for some people is worth that $3 if you're really busy. Apparently in Australia, 20 to 30% of our fresh produce is dumped before it even hits mm. the supermarket stores because of cosmetic reasons or yeah. doesn't suit the retailers or, or the customer. Mm. Um, that's the reality. So, like you, when I first thought about it, I was like, I'm so wasteful. Who really cares? I, for me, it's the bottom dollar. It comes down to the bottom dollar as a shopper. Julie? I'm finding my daughter's generation is very much more aware of this kind of thing. She's very, she'll get on to me about it, which, which is good, because I don't think, you know, we think about these kind of things enough. Uh, and I'm glad that she does that. But I, you know, it's kind of funny, we're doing these convenience things mm -hmm. and everything we have is to make life simpler, simpler, but we're more busy, we're spending more time on social media, we're spending more time on Netflix. Well, that's what But they we said. can't chop up a cauliflower. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> M Marks and Spencer, well, their defence, they said that. They said well, it was for convenient for vegetarians. I love I love cauliflower, so I want the whole thing, thanks. But if you yeah. think about people who are elderly and getting on, and that can be a challenge for them, it is easier to pick up just a portion that's already ready and do something with it. With it, as opposed to sort of chopping it up, so there might be a small audience for it. But if there are other people buying it, I don't it, I just, I would have think to laugh. they would be buying it. I think it's a different target market. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> the, cost, the cost is three times more than you would of a yeah. whole, you know, just getting a normal yeah. cauliflower. The, the cost, I can't justify it just by the cost. What yeah. gets me though is that we've got this great food that God made, but it's wrapped in plastic. Yeah. For Pete's Every sake. slice. <laughs> And I think it's also the, steak. we it's need to yeah. start thinking <laughs> of our carbon footprint on, yes. on the Do we need to wrap it in plastic? So you wouldn't buy it, obviously. Oh, no. Yeah. What are ways that we can reduce our, our carbon footprint, I guess, on when we shop? I feel Shopping like I'm learning them from this show. To be honest, I'm not <laughs> plugging this show, but I I'm feel sorry. like... <laughs> You rage totally. I'm like, where's my notepad? So yeah, I'm like, notes. you know what? We really should be caring about the environment because it's the future generation. Wait till Jax is a bit older. He'll teach He'll you. He'll tell me. <laughs> grow it, should. grow it. And yeah. I think if Mel or Mary Ellen were on the show, they they'd be yeah. like all guns blazing. Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. I think it starts from when they're young. Yeah. We need mm. to start from home and teach our children these, you know, recycle, recycling, recycling, using mm -hmm. biodegradable products. Less and all waste. That. Less waste, less packaging. My yeah, kids don't remember a time when we didn't have recycling bins. Yeah. Look, I do. Interesting, yeah. interesting. But look, we want to know what you think. Otherwise, how sustainable are you?